Hi everyone, this is Bev Gerard. Today I want to share with you something really fun and new, to me anyway, new to add to your stamping and to your card making. Here's my finished project and I'll show you how I did that. I'm going to show you what I've added to my normal stamping. I've added some product from Chibitronics. This is the Chibitronics Copper Conductive Tape and you'll need that. You're actually going to make a circuit. Woohoo! And you'll add to that a little bitty LED light. I actually have three in my hand right, right here. They come um, in a little set of three and you just peel off the one you want or use all three or more. And to make that light in your circuit you'll add a little three volt, three volt coin battery that I also uh, purchased from Chibitronics. These are the additional items that you'll need to add just a little bit of really fun light to your cards, to your scrapbooking maybe, to your stamping. Let's get started. I've speeded up the stamping portion since the video really is about adding Chibitronics. So uh, I'll include a list below the video uh, within the blog post of all the items that I've used, uh, Chibitronics items and Stampin' Up! items that I've used uh, to create the card itself. Right now um, I'm just showing you how I stamped three light bulbs on a die cut square uh, the center light bulb is stamped in Archival Basic Black ink, while the side light bulbs are stamped in Sahara Sand ink. I use the Sahara Sand for the background stamping. And also use the Basic Black for the sentiment that uh, is not going to be shown getting stamped on this video. That got chopped. <laughs> so now we're ready to layer the background piece onto just a a 1 8 inch larger cut basic black layer. Adhere that to a Bermuda Bay card base with some basic black thick twine behind it to create a little bow later. And now we'll get to the good stuff, working with the Chibitronics. I wanted to layer the light bulbs on a black contrasting layer. So I need to punch a hole for the little LED light to show through. Now I can adhere the image piece to its black layer, added a nice bit of contrast. I really felt that was needed. But now there's a hole so the light will glow right behind the, the white and uh, yellow colored cardstock. So to place, this is about placement of the light bulb that <clears throat> I'm selecting where I'm going to put the battery and I'm going to create a little pocket, a security pocket if you will, for the battery. Adhering that to the card with some tear and tape. Making sure of the placement. Put in an X where the little LED sticker light goes. Adding some copper tape. For the negative side of the battery creating the pocket for the battery to, to stay within when the card is being held and handled. That little short piece will uh, be for the negative side of the circuit. I'll create a little bitty gap between that strip and the next strip. Right there is a little gap. And that will be where I lay the LED sticker. First I have to make that copper tape come around the little pocket. Here comes the chibi light. Oh! Now it's all about getting your image piece layered up on top. I stacked this particular uh, sticky tape three layers high only because I, I created the pocket for the battery this way and 
you don't want that uh, battery to be in contact with the plus side of the circuit except when you press down on it. The rest is simple card making. Adding on the sentiment. I really had fun learning how to add this new light element to my card making and my stamping. If you have questions or just comments, please feel free to leave a little comment, leave a few words right here on my blog post. I'll be glad to help you if I can. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you found something to inspire you here today. Thanks so much. I'll see you later. Bye now.